The Reminders app provides a place for you to add to-do lists, daily chores, project goals, or a grocery list. There are sort of three different reminder types. The standard reminder, which you add and then manually check off reminders when they're completed. Scheduled reminders, with which you'll get an alert on your device or devices to remind you to do something. And finally, location-based reminders which will cause an alert based on where you are to remind you of something. Again, I'm using iCloud to sync my reminders, so I have an iCloud section here, under which I can add my own reminder lists. Right now, I just have a single list called Reminders. Tap Add List, and I'm going to create one called Groceries. I can then set a color for the list and choose to share it with someone if I like just like sharing a calendar. To add items to this list, just tap over in the left-hand margin. I'll add a few different things to my grocery list. When I tap Return, a new item is automatically created. Now, while I'm at the store, I can just check these items off as I pick them up. Tap in the circle to the left of each item to mark it completed. At the bottom of the list, I can choose to show or hide the completed items. If I would rather just delete the items once I'm done shopping, I can just swipe right to left on them individually, or tap the Edit button here to delete them all a little faster. I could also delete the entire groceries list with a swipe. Now let's create a scheduled reminder. I'll add this in my general reminders list. So I'll tap on the left margin to add a new reminder, which will be take the trash out. Then tap the info button here to the right. In here I can set this to remind me on a certain day and time. Our trash gets picked up on Friday mornings, so I'm going to remind myself to do this on Thursday evenings. Tap Repeat, and I can set this reminder to occur at a certain interval. In this case, the trash is picked up once a week. I could set an end date for the reminder, but I don't need to do that for this one. Tap Done, and the reminder is saved. At 6 p.m. every Thursday, I'll get an alert on all my iOS devices, reminding me to take the trash out. Here in the Scheduled section, I can see the reminder is set for tomorrow. When I mark that completed, the Scheduled section will now display the next Trash Day reminder, which will occur on the 20th. The final type of reminder I want to go over is a location-based reminder. For this one, I'll need to use my iPhone since it has a GPS chip in it and can always be aware of its location. The Reminders app looks a little different on the iPhone. It's set up as sort of a vertical set of cards. It doesn't work in landscape orientation. When I tap on the Reminders list, it fills the display. To go back to all my lists, I just need to swipe down. Swipe down from the All List view, and I can get to a Search field, or the Scheduled Reminders button. Tap on New List, and I could create a new Reminders list, just as I did on the iPad. I'm going to add a new reminder to my General Reminders list, and call it Drop Off Package. Tap the Info button, and notice that here on my iPhone, I get a Remind Me at Location option. Turn this on, and I can select a location. I'm going to add Mike's office again. The location is displayed below on a map. And then I can actually tap and drag to set a radius around the location to tell the phone how near or far from the location to trigger the reminder. I also need to tell it to remind me when I arrive at the location, or remind me when I'm leaving the location. In this case, I want to be reminded when I leave, 
so I can then head right over to the post office, which is a few blocks away. Tap done, and when I arrive at Mike's office, nothing's going to happen. But when I leave, my phone will alert me to remember to drop off my package at the post office. I typically find location-based reminders to be the most helpful.